Easter greetings. We are in the fourth week of Easter and today is a Wednesday. We are studying characteristic number four of Joseph, the son of Jacob. And today we are talking about diligence. Joseph was a diligent figure. Diligence meant that he showed a careful and persistent effort in everything that he did. And we see this even as he was a child. He managed to show diligence in whatever duties that he executed. I remember very well when the father used to send him to, with food and to check on his brothers as they were in the fields. Joseph would do that diligently. He would go there and look for his brothers. At one instant, he went and spent the whole day looking for his brothers until he found them so that he can take the food and check on them to give a report to the father. So in as much as you are a child within a family setup, you must emulate this characteristic of being diligent. Joseph, even when he was sold by his brothers to the Ishmaelites and he went again and was further sold to Potiphar, he remained diligent to the extent that Potiphar recognized the diligence of Joseph and made him a leader in his household. And because of his diligence, he did not need to buy a favor in the house of Potiphar. He did not need to ask for anything or to bribe anybody for him to be elevated. His elevation came as a result of his diligence. And I'm saying to you, wherever you are, whatever setup that you find yourself in, you don't need to bribe anybody to be elevated. You don't need to seek any favors. Your favors, your bribe lies in your diligence, which must emanate from deep within you. And Joseph was diligent to the extent that he was elevated in the house of Potiphar. And we see after uh, challenges, after a, a negative and false report was given about him by the wife of Potiphar, Joseph was sent to jail. And even when he was in jail, he managed to show his diligence to the extent that he was elevated among his, the prison mates. And even as he uh, went to interpret the dream of Pharaoh, then he was uh, made one of the governors after interpreting, interpreting the dream of Pharaoh to a satisfactory manner. He was elevated again to be governor and he managed to show uh, his diligence even as he was governor, even as he was in the palace of the king. So I'm saying to you, brothers and sisters, diligence must not be defined by your circumstance, by your situation. No matter where you are, no matter what situation you find yourself in, whether you are a child, whether you are in prison, whether you are in a palace, you must maintain your, your diligence, you must maintain respect for the effort, the work that you do, and that must be the basis of your benefits, must be the basis of your elevation in life. I bless you all in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.